How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be going over my levels and plan for the stock market next week. So let's jump right into it. The S&P was down 0.22%. We saw price dance around in my support zone for a little bit before breaking underneath it. And now price is touching this downtrend that we've been watching as well. I didn't take any trades today, so levels to be watching for next week. This first could be the support zone from 433.5 to 431.5. Then the support zone down here from 423 to 420. And keep an eye on this uptrend and then that downtrend and to get a better perspective of that uptrend I'm watching here are the different points I have it resting on we only have two points of contact so it's not the strongest trend I'm still gonna see if we can get any trades off of it if price sets up for it for resistance keep an eye on this zone from 441 to 443.5 and then this zone up here from 449 to 452 now my plan for next week is I'll watch to see if price bounces off this downtrend if it does and then I see some consolidation around my support zone and maybe price is starting to curl up a little bit and we look to take a long position or maybe we see some higher lows being put in as we could catch a move maybe back up to this resistance zone or maybe this gap will get filled before price wants to continue to fall lower we could also see prices kind of consolidate but at a slow decline along this downtrend or price could completely break through it and come down and touch the support zone if it does i'll look to take a long position as we could see a decent bounce off of it from there and price would be pretty close this uptrend too so presents a better uh, risk to reward opportunity for us i doubt we'll see this resistance zone up here but if we do get that large move and price pushes up into it i'd want to see a pretty solid setup maybe something like we see over here the price is starting to curl we're getting some bearish reversal patterns and then i'll want to take a short position and see if we can catch a move to the downside so those are my main trading ideas as always i like to be prepared for either a bullish or a bearish scenario that way i'm not biased when it comes to my trading if you guys want to join a community of traders and investors check out the discord down below i have the link there for you guys there's over a thousand members in the community so you can chat with them share your different plays and trades that you're taking i love getting to talk with you guys and also to see what you guys are trading and investing in so check it out and subscribe to the channel if you like these short and sweet technical analysis videos i try to upload daily but take care everyone